Unfortunately, I just used the same color for the second half of that, so I'll draw a line across there. So transposition. What is transposition? Transposition is just changing the subject. Changing the... Sorry, I'll try and write neater. Subject. Okay. So the subject here is the C. The subject up here was the T. And so if we've got an equation like the equation for the force due to gravity, where's the subject going to be here? That one, that one, that one, that one. It's there. And so if we want to um, do a bit of transposition to make or transpose to make R the subject, we'll do it as follows. So first thing to do is say, okay, it's a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky. You know, how do we get R by itself? How do we get R on one side by itself? Well, I if I ever see, again, this is a matter of practice, and um, but whenever I see a division, I like to bring it all. So instead of being something equals something over something, I like to make it so it's kind of this form. You know? I like to um, get it all looking the same all along one line. So what I'll do is the first thing is I'll um, times times by r squared. And so f times r squared is f r squared and then g m m on r squared times r squared. Well notice there's no pluses or anything so we can just cancel. And again, this is very similar to what we did before with our oranges, you know, looking familiar. We're cancelling top and bottom when we've got just multiplications. So GMM on R squared times R squared. Okay, so just, just to write that out a bit neater, GMM. Now, the next step is, well, if we take a square root of this side, okay, so opposite, oh, inverse of is plus is minus times is division and to the power of 2 is the square root. Right? That means the power of 2, or I could say x squared, um, something, to, something squared. It's the power of 2. So opposite of to the power of 2 is the square root. You don't need the 2 there, but um, it's helpful for clarity. So, But if we did that, then we'd be taking the square root of the f as well, and that would kind of make things harder because that would wrap us up a bit more. So what we want to do is take this f over to this side so we can divide by f. And so we end up with r squared. Again, we would be having f over f, so they would cancel. Um, so we just end up with r squared equals g m m on f. A bit more space. So now we've got this g m m on f and r squared. So now we can use this inverse to get the r by itself. And so we just say square root both sides. And so, well, because square root of r squared equals r in the same way as plus negative r equals r or um, 1 divided by r times r equals 1 or um, r divided by 3 times 3 equals r probably a clearer example than that one but that's true as well um, so we just end up with r equals g m m over f, and we took the square root of that side as well. <gasps> so that's transposition. Transposition. So 
what did we do there? The idea of trans transposition was to change the subject and the subject was initially F. All we did was try to identify steps we could take to get the R by itself and um, and we managed to sort it out. So that was that was what you did in week two. You did negative numbers, which wasn't too hard. You know, you just use your number line. We did using arrays to multiply, broke it down, put it in a box, added it all up. We simplified equations by collecting like terms, and again looking at apples and oranges. And we noticed that the B and the A, the order didn't matter because with multiplication the order does not matter. Um, but we could only compare like things, apples with apples and oranges with oranges. Um, substitution of numbers for pronumerals, that was super easy. We just put in whatever values we have for the variables into the place where those variables initially were in the equation. Um, solving equations, again, looking at those key steps, trying to work out, trying to get all the t's on one side. Writing algebraic expressions. Identify the un unknown, choose a pronumeral for all variables, and look for key words. And then transposition, which we just looked at. So hopefully that's been helpful, guys. And um, yeah, enjoy week three.